The latest on Prince's mysterious death. The final results of his autopsy could take weeks as new questions emerge about what will happen to his $300 million estate. And we learn new details about his deep involvement with the Jehovah's Witness Church. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is outside Paisley Park with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. The memorial, as you can see behind me, continues to grow, as do the stories here in this community of personal interactions with Prince. Things as normal as seeing him in the grocery store. This morning, we are learning more about that side of him, the man and his faith. This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. He was an international superstar, but the man the world knew as Prince was just another church member at a Minnesota Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall. A churchgoer telling People Magazine, Brother Nelson was in good standing and would go door to door with the ministry, adding he was able to talk to those who the rest of us would never be able to talk to, celebrities, for example. This comes as TMZ released new ATC sound from Prince's plane, forced to make an emergency landing for a medical emergency just six days before his death. See if I'll be waiting. They want you to go to the west end of the north ramp. Outside of Prince's home in Paisley Park, the memorial growing. His closest friends and family gathering Saturday for a private ceremony to say goodbye to the singer. His publicist confirming his remains have been cremated. His inner circle planning to keep his final resting place secret. It's just not easy to lose uh, someone that you love and has been a part of our life for so long. Still no word on if the superstar had a will, but Prince leaves behind no wife or children. And he loved each and every one of you. The woman with the purple hair is Prince's sister, Tyka. The singer also had seven half-siblings who under Minnesota law could all be in line to the singer's fortune. Realistically, it seems to me that it depends so much on what, what battles ensue. This could be years. It could be years. His estate estimated at 300 million is growing by the day. His music once again topping the charts. As the world processes his loss, the tributes keep rolling in. Bruce Springsteen opening a show at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn with a cover of Purple Rain. Saturday Night Live honoring Prince sharing never before seen video of his epic performance at the SNL 40th anniversary party. There is a public memorial in the works. No word on when that will be. And Prince is currently at the top of both the number one and the number two spots of the Billboard Top Albums chart. It's the first time that's happened in over 10 years. Robin and George. Probably stay there for a while too. Mm -hmm. Plus Eva. that vault has a lot more to come. Yeah, it really does. Eva, thank you.